Hey everyone, Dave Greco here, and yes, I'm alive and I am back. Sorry about that small hiatus. Things got a little crazy, got a bunch of work done, but I should be getting back, making more content again. Again, sorry for the break, but we're back. So, very excited about it. So tonight, I actually want to do a really long self-portrait piece. I may break this up into two videos, but I wanted to go from exactly the start of the piece all the way to the end. I want to make a new icon for a lot of my socials and stuff. So I figured we'd just work on it on camera and record it and uh, talk to you guys while we do it. So I have some stuff kind of prepped up, but we'll hop right over to the painting and we'll check it out. All right, here we go. So before I kind of get started here and kind of talk about where I'm thinking I want to go with this piece, as you can see on the right of the screen, I actually have like a little kind of quick color sketch I did of some kind of like weird idea I was thinking of to do for a new uh, portrait piece. I could do put it on Twitch or Instagram, any of that stuff. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, you usually can catch me a lot uh, more often over there. It's just twitch.tv slash Dave Greco Art. Feel free to go over there and throw it a follow if you ever want to catch me uh, go live. And so I want to do this kind of like half color. It's almost like this unnatural blue mixed with regular um, skin tone here with kind of like a, like a pink eye maybe. I don't know. But the sketch kind of looked like me, but kind of didn't. So I want to go back and do kind of a more stylized sketch if I can on the left here. So let's do that. Up. Um, I actually have a couple uh, videos I'm working on right now too. I do have a, um, a brand new hair tutorial I'm looking to get done. And it's more than just like how to do hair. It's kind of more of a technique on like how I tackle hair. It's something that a lot of people seem to really like about the work that I do lately is how I tackle hair. And so I want to get very a little more specific on how I do hair. So basically what I'm going to do like kind of like a squish outline, trying to find all the points of like moving around the piece as fast as possible. Like, oh, where, where are my eyes? Where is my nose roughly going to be? Same with my mouth. And this piece can be pretty messy. Hello, Mr. Cooper. Welcome back. He's been very excited for me to start recording again. Make sure the mic's close enough. If you hear like a slight little humming in the background, it is my fan. I can't help it. It's like so hot in my office lately. This thing is keeping me alive. So I don't want to go like totally realistic with this. I have some kind of like reference shots of my face. You know, it's funny, like in art school, you do a ton of self portraits. And I really have not done that many in recent years. I think because I was doing so many for a while, it just felt like one of my characters always just kind of looked like me. <laughs> Which is fine for a little bit, but I'm going to exaggerate some of these eyebrow shapes. and Even when I'm doing this, and I, we've talked about stylized work and creating interesting shapes, I'm always trying to think of how I'm going to create interesting shapes in any of this stuff. I still want to make it look like a version of my mouth, but with a shape that might be a little more interesting. I always feel like if I can get a nice loose sketch to start, that the piece as a whole is going to feel like it has like a little bit more life in it. It's massive nostrils happening, I'll tell you that much. I think my nostrils are that big. Yeah, so I'd like to do that. I still want to do the uh, art school one, talking about the pros and cons of going to art school. Wish I had like better video editing though, where it's like, I have cool visuals to go along with it instead of me just rambling. <laughs> so that one's gonna take a little bit more work because I think that one should be like a, actually a well edited video, maybe with some animation and who knows what. This picture on the left here is looking bizarre.
We'll see if we, you know, I have to like end up really liking this piece, whatever, however it comes out for us to kind of use it in all these things we want. But maybe we can do something cool here. Looking at like the proportions of my face, my sketch wasn't like too far off. What I might do here is let's do a flip on everything just so I can kind of, including this little picture I had here. Yeah, and flipping is always super important. If I haven't shown you guys how to hotkey flip in Photoshop, let me take a second to show you that real quick. Um, because a lot of people ask me that when I'm painting on Twitch. How you go down is you go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and then you go to image, bring that down, scroll all the way down till you get to image rotation and see where it says flip canvas horizontal. You can click that, make whatever you want. Mine's alt F2 for some reason. That's just what it's been for me for a long time. And then basically it'll flip all your layers for you and you can flip like crazy. You have no idea how long that took me to figure out. I went through like five years of my career before I knew uh, where to hotkey that. <laughs> so that may be obvious to some people, but it is, uh, it took me an embarrassingly long, embarrassingly long time for me to identify that. So I was looking at like um, lines too of where certain uh, parts of your body should be. You know, usually like the, your top of your ear to be lined with your eyes and same with the bottom of the ear, you know, kind of aligned with the bottom of your nose. So it's kind of something you learn in figure drawing. Maybe we'll have that top of our head up here. I always like having these kind of, this kind of like furrowed brow here. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying again, I'm sorry for the, the lack of content. I think we were doing our recording on Sunday nights, then Thrones happened, and that was, you know, that was a whole mix of emotion through all of that. We won't get into it. Maybe someday we will. And then we have been spending a lot of time in Final Fantasy XIV lately. I could not help myself. And with the uh, Shadowbringers coming out, I definitely wanted to get a whole bunch of videos recorded before I get totally distracted. And so I'm using the DG main, like usual, that you guys are have it available to download right below. I figure out, you know, where, let's see here. I think my mouth looks the weirdest <laughs> of all of this. I think I do kind of want to light some of it somewhat the same. Also keep this kind of loose right here. Yeah, even if I have to break this video up into a couple of parts, uh, we'll do that. I, I want to get the whole thing actually recorded for you guys. And I won't space them out like a week apart or something. I may actually put like a couple of videos out next week. So thank you again for everybody being patient with the channel. Even if there's ever a lull like that, just know that I will always be back. I'm always so excited that about the channel. Let me push the eye up further here. 
Maybe we won't give it to people right now. I want it to be kind of like a weird piece. If that makes any sense. Something weird about it. I'm still trying to kind of find some like s simple forms. I think the way I took the shot, sh when I, I shot the reference, it's like flaring my nostril or something. All right, let's just save that. It's called rot for who knows what reason. Paste this thing out. Mess with it a little bit. I've never had like a cellboard that looks so little like me. Get it all fixed up though. Looks like I'm like chewing on something weird. <laughs> I think my mouth is too close to my nose, too. What's so nice about doing stuff digital, you can kind of just pull it around. I keep kind of moving it around. I do this a lot with some work sometimes just to find an angle or something that I might like. I don't mind kind of warping and twisting and distorting it around. Especially during these kind of sketch phases, just to find something that might be a little more interesting. I'm actually going to raise this mouth. Let's see if I can get like a little bit more loose again. I think I was a little bit looser in the original sketch. Yeah, so most of these videos uh, won't have any music. I find it's easier if you guys just want to pop on your own stuff. I usually am listening to music while I'm painting on these. It's just not um, not picking it up. Just so you guys don't have to only listen to me breathe. But you can do that if you want. I'm just going to bring my lip up a little bit so it doesn't look like I'm about to poop my pants or something. That's not really the look we're going for. Okay. I'm not going to spend, like, I was like, why is that figure? There's some painting underneath it. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the sketch. I think we can move off it into just, like, loose painting and color. But like always, just feel, you know, I really want to move around the piece. Just adjusting things a little bit more here and there. I, I do like the kind of like lighting scenario we had going before though, so I definitely want to try to get some of that going. All right, let's go and make a multiply layer. So I want to get a pretty dark. I think I want a, a cool color though. It's kind of warm over there. And like, I don't mind being too messy right here. If we come over the top here. Especially since like Instagram and Twitch have kind of these like circular portraits now, I don't mind. If we do end up using it, we could use something that's kind of more, you know, Right here or something. I don't know. We'll see. We're still 
messing with because I don't know what I'm really shooting for. So this kind of like shape right here, I kind of want to do this and kind of cross over this lip and then come down like that. Let's kind of erase this out. We'll put the ear in that shadow and then all this. I'm going to make another layer here, and I am going to do a little bit of that light and layer technique that I tend to do. Should I just go to light and layer? And I usually use like a dark, really deep red. Just on some of these, actually, let me um, put this flow back in this right here. Just so we get like a little hits of interesting color in here. I don't want to hit up the whole piece, but maybe just these little areas. I might actually erase a tiny bit towards the nose. Here we go. All right, make another layer. I'm going to do an overlay layer. I want to really get into our color scheme pretty fast here. I don't think we need to wait around. There's almost parts of this piece I want to feel kind of graphic, you know. Let's grab kind of like a warm color here. We're not, we don't want to get, you know, too saturated too fast, like I usually say. There we go. And then if we make another layer, just a normal layer, I'm going to grab this color right here and start to give it form. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit here. I think it changed the color so we have a little bit of color variation. And that's when we're going to start kind of, it's almost like I'm airbrushing on top of it just to kind of figure out these little, little shapes right here. I'm going to go back in and paint it because otherwise you're going to have like this really airbrushy kind of look. You don't want that. That type of stuff is going to make you look really digital. And usually when you're working on digital art, you're, you're shooting to not have it look so digital. It's, it's like a, it's a weird concept, right? I'm gonna go back in and kind of paint around and figure out some of these forms. You're kind of getting rid of a lot of that feathered out edges that the airbrush makes. And then I'm gonna paint in some of these shapes here. Paint in the eyeball. You know, we're not getting too complicated with like our variation of color and all the little things in there. I'm not getting too crazy as far as like, you know, eyebrows and I mean eyelashes and eyelashes on, underneath. Not yet, at least. Let me grab some of this paint because I do want this kind of like weird. And we'll, we'll come in and really kind of hit all this stuff up. I like to do this stuff pretty early. So I'm like an android now. I mean, ultimately, when going over it, I probably could have cleaned up the uh, previous one, but... That's all right. I want to show you guys some of the stuff from the beginning, and I was kind of just like playing with ideas at one point. So I wanted to see how it started from the beginning. Okay. Let's figure out this nose here. I want all of this stuff to be hanging out in this cool light, but I still want there to be form on the nose. So I'm really got just kind of blending around, and I do have a blending video. It's it's pretty short, um, but it's pretty simple on how I tend to blend and render. It's a lot of eye dropping and 
slowly massaging it around. You'll see what works. You know, I do like to leave like a little bit of this line drawing sometimes. And really going around and finding a silhouette that works, painting back in. You know, they're actually it's probably a little bit lighter around the nostril here. And we just slowly blend this out. There we go. And just brush in like little little shapes. All right, we can try to get under the nose here. Yeah, I don't want to go too extreme on any shadows or anything. So I'm like flipping everything, like all my examples, all my reference, I kind of flip it all <laughs> as I work, if I can. It's not always something I do, but I'm going to try on this one. Grab some of this. You know, we could have like a uh, pupil in here and stuff and iris and all that, but you know, we just have variations of the pink. And something with the top of the lips too, I always like to do is I do like to soften the top of them. I don't like a nice, I don't like doing like a hard edged upper lip. But I do want to keep this like kind of the red that's going around. Uh, let's see here. This part of the cheek that comes down. I do want to kind of keep it like as the light's hitting. And then I want this kind of like the red to really kind of be hitting that border. And we'll punch that up when we push the piece further. And when we start kind of like really amping up the contrast and all that stuff. So I can't help but like my eyebrows are clearly not shaped like this. It just, I've been moving to like these like stylizing eyebrows into these like weird shapes lately. And I, I, it's just becoming kind of part of my style. So I'm just kind of embracing it. I like it a lot. I, these eyebrows have like these kind of like weird cuts and stuff in them. I like it. And I shall embrace it. You know, sometimes things just happen with your art by accident, and sometimes you gotta go with that flow, right? At one point, we're just gonna go full screen with this and push out our sketch that we had before. This is me when I go into, like, demon form. I kind of like, I like the weirdness of it. I really do. Okay. Let's see here. I wonder if we still go kind of blue. Like, I want to lighten up the teeth a little bit here. I guess we could still have this in the blue area. I'm not painting this image like super high res. Identify some things in this reference. I 
we'll kind of fade around the upper lip here. Now, I hope you guys um, enjoy this type of content where it's me kind of just like freeform painting and hanging out and talking to you guys. You guys can, you know, you'd be working on your own work or just have this up. You know, definitely post down below if you do like this type of stuff or you like time lapses way more than this or, you know, I'm sure people would want some more tutorials. I do want to do some more of those. So this isn't exactly like a drawing with Dave, which I'm definitely gonna keep going. Uh, this one felt a little different. I want this one just to be kind of like a, its own self-portrait thing. Here are some slatter color. I wanted to. I like that we were rimming this other side with um, this bright light. Where all these shapes were. It's actually the other nostril over here on that side. It's actually pretty, my, my reference I took, actually pretty close to a quick sketch I had. Which is kind of surprising me. So we'll just kind of go around that. I'm going to have like a nice glow that feels like it's coming off it too. Uh, just not yet. This part's always weird because like side of your face sometimes hits this area where it's like almost feels like it's, it's about to be a tangent. Like I said, I don't mind this one being like a little bit more graphic. Than, um, we usually do. And I'm not going to rim light around this top of the nose here. I don't think it would catch too much of that light. But I will grab right here, and I think that's probably the extent of where we'll bring that light. There we go. Flip them all, flip everything we got. Yeah, I would totally love to get back into doing more self-portraits, especially as, you know, I get older and older. So, you know, I'll have old man self-portraits. It's probably not that far off. <laughs> yeah, I've had so many people kind of hop over to Twitch or on Instagram to say hello these past few months that have found me through the YouTube channel, which has been... Really unbelievable. That's why, I, you know, I've said it before. I always feel so guilty. When we don't get stuff up. But I think what I have to do is just re refocus my workload. I'm going to kind of do a little fade right here. Make sure we're saving. Let's see here. We could actually go a little bit more of this color and then go a little lighter for this spot back here. I'm thinking and we'll bring it all the way down. And we'll kind of just slowly blend it like we usually do. 
you know, I press on my monitor very, very lightly when we're doing this type of work. Oh, I do have a, uh, I'm going to try to get a time lapse going. We just painted my Lollafell in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. We did a cool piece for that, and it's actually being animated right now. So I do want to get a time lapse going of that, and then I can actually post up what the uh, final animation is done. We're a friend of ours is working on that right now. That's going to be pretty fantastic. We have it all broken up, so all the parallax is going to be really nice. I'd like to uh, be diving into more of that stuff with my work, absolutely. All right. You know, I like to not have like one solid block of hair. So I do want to kind of break it up in these little areas where the hair kind of fades in. Just like subtly, I don't have to go too crazy on hyper rendering all these hairs. Cause I'd rather keep it more stylized anyway. You know, pictures like this actually make me miss having, I used to have like really long sideburns that used to like go down to my jaw. And I used to have ones and they kind of look like this. No, that's what I was trying to be as cool as possible. Miss those, miss those bad boys. I'm only, I wonder if I want to try to put like a little bit of stubble in. You have like these speckle and dust brushes, which you can kind of do it with it sometimes. You can kind of do this deal. This this brush is kind of weird for it, but just because the way it lays it down. Um, let me go to the dust one. I think the dust one might work better. Yeah, not that large though. But then I'm gonna go back and erase a lot of it. Like, I don't mind being like hyper messy with it. If like we're just trying to lay down almost like a texture on top, right? Just so it's not like baby smooth skin, which might make it look less like me if it is like that. Yeah, then we're having it kind of, it would come up here. And... We swap back and get some of this other one in here again. So this one should be on its own layer. I'll kind of like we'll fade it down a little bit. Uh, let me erase in some parts. I just want, I just want it to be like a subtle thing. Yeah, I don't want it on my lips. Then usually have kind of a gap right there. Whoa, wrong brush. See, I'm keep all these little mistakes in here for you guys. All right, it's time for a good old flip. Let me go up here. I want to darken up the background a tiny bit here. We'll go with the pure solid that we have. That's gonna be super dark. I'm gonna just drop the opacity on this. So this is when I talk about I make like nonsense layers. I do like one little part and make a new layer. So my layers are not that important to me. And at one point I'll easily just merge it all down and erase it all because it just doesn't matter to me. I always just kind of paint on top of everything. I think those little mistakes and details you leave underneath are are nice to have. Let's go over the hair. I know you guys 
I usually have a beanie on. I actually did a sketch this with a beanie on. I was like, nah. I do have black hair. Although, it does have quite a bit of gray coming into it, which is is a thing. All right, let's see. Let's bring some of this blue up here. I'm going to go a little more blue, a little screen. Into this, and then I want to kind of go in and kind of carve some of this back out. This kind of goes into how I tackle hair a lot. Hopefully all this is recorded. We're doing this in one large take. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out this ear a little bit here. You know, I don't want to follow my ear reference exactly. Just some kind of like shapes where some folds happen. I kind of like making my own ears. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but it is true. We generally have this type of fold happening right here. That's one thing that's always good to look, grab is ear reference. I always notice a huge difference if I actually spend the time to get some good ear reference. I'm like, oh yeah, that's where that fold happens. You know, like I said, it always depends how realistically you're trying to make it. It's a little pointy. I'm not an elf. All right, we're going to have to figure out some more of the highlights and color into the skin pretty soon. So I think that's going to reflect back here into all this stuff. Just going a little bit lighter with our color. Like I said, we usually kind of build up slow. Like most of the painting is pretty desaturated right now. We get like a little bit more of these kind of thicker hair is where they might kind of come down. Like I said, I'm still trying to kind of like stylize this in a way. I think we're at the point where I'm not really referencing this right one anymore. So I do like to usually bring these things full screen if I can. All right, let me move this over. All right. And one thing I'm gonna do, I know, is I'm gonna I keep all this in shadow underneath here. So most of this is all underneath anyway. Okay. I wonder if we bring some of that blue down here though. Like when we do the shadow underneath. Could be doable. I 
And I'm gonna try to make sure when I'm doing the jawline too that it's not like a solid line, you know. There's like that nice fade of it kind of of it kind of you know curving down underneath, right? So you do want to get that. You know, even if it's subtle, you do want like a little bit of transition, so a little blurriness to it. The shadow will start fading as well. Just clean up over here. Let me see here, if I go into overlay, I do want this type of like glow happening on the left side. I want to add like a little bit more color to it. I think if it was, let's try a little warmth to it and then have it kind of blend into all this over here. A lot of the stuff I'll do is still is quite a bit of experimentation. Even to the point where let me push it over quite a bit. And then we'll kind of fade that out. I just want it to kind of bleed into the background a tiny bit. I wonder if, and then we're gonna erase parts of this also. I just want like a little, just a tiny bit. And I like the fact that part of the face feels like it's like unnaturally blue. It's not like, oh, it's just, you know, cool shadows. I want it to be kind of bizarre. I know I've said that like three times. <laughs> on this other side where this nostrils we go with a pretty saturated lighter color like this might kind of make it stand out a little bit we're just trying stuff I like how this other eye though almost has like no pupils so all like in darkness. The darkness of the eye. And we can actually sometimes I'll grab an airbrush. I do kind of want like a little bit of reflection and shininess to the eye here. Go back and kind of erase parts of it a little bit. And I think we it's still worth getting like a nice highlight on it. Even doing it now, I think would be fine. I don't know if we need it on the other eye. We could we could put it over there. Something that's kind of like 
dreary about this. Maybe this is like a reflection of how sleepy I am all the time. I'm just in some weird twilight zone. You know, I do like my widow's peak is in this far back, but sometimes I actually like to accentuate it in, in these pieces. Self-portrait makes me look prettier than I really am. I'm aware. I'm aware of that. I'm not this dashing looking. Uh, let me move this reference again so I can see this ear. Oh yeah, I lost my lip ring in there somewhere. I'll have to get that back. We'll see how long this is. This piece is going pretty quick. We might be able to just get this into one video. I'm sure you guys would probably prefer that anyway. Yeah, let's just do this. You know, who cares how long this thing is? Let's just do this whole thing. We'll post this up tomorrow morning. I just want these kind of weird marks, just something to, you know, we'll get some more light on here, but add a little interest to it. this out here. We've been kind of like overlaying simple color like this. You can see that this thing has not taken very long. I am trying to work on speeding up my process lately. What we need though is add light and sorry, I light to where this kind of cheekbone area is. I probably will use an overlay layer again. I used to like use overlay layers probably too much. But now I use it in a way where I still build it up slowly, or I, I try to at least. Where you can get too saturated too quick. And that can be a bit scary. Like I kind of want it like overly warm, or I think I would probably have like a little bit of a cooler light, but I actually like the contrast from the obviously from the blue side. So give it an old flip. All right, now we're just gonna go to a normal layer. A little more, less red in there. And I just want to grab some of these kind of layers to bring out. I said I don't mind this part being a little smooth. You know, you can always grab a brush that's got like a little bit more texture and stuff in it, which is sometimes kind of nice. You know, you can kind of drag it around, see what kind of little shapes you make. You know, it's probably better on something like this, especially when it comes to skin, right? Having like really smooth skin is going to make it, again, look more digital. So sometimes, you know, dirtying it up is probably, probably a good idea. Yeah, and just find, you know, find some weird little strokes that work. 
I think the idea of looking like paint is being scraped on or something is probably a good thing. You know, I think those little mistakes add interest to your piece. I don't have to clean up, you know, the entirety of this whole thing. Or if you find like a brush that's adding some cool stuff halfway through the piece, you know, start jamming it in. Let's go back to my DG main, right? Like in these brushes, we do have uh, down below in the video description, just like all my videos, you can you can find a link to this brush set. I'm not worried about the, any of the details down here. I kind of like them being kind of messy brush strokes. some parts of the ear here. Probably go like a deeper red. It's kind of hits this little part here. It's usually quite dark. You want to still kind of mess with this down here. I'm make a new layer. I'm actually going to so this is usually what happens. It's time to smash it. I squash the whole thing down. All those layers are gone. Like I said, I always like building on top of what's already been made anyway. So we've smashed it. We should actually give like a little bit of color here since your you know lips are a different color. At least a different value, all right. So if we did do it on this side, we could do add the we'll bring in, which should be kind of here. I, you know, I wouldn't, don't want to get too crazy with it. Sometimes you can make them pop too much. Also, I do like to have like some teeth shape in here, just like subtle ones. Kind of where that light's gonna hit this thing, just kind of blink. Pop a little highlight on it. You don't need to do much for something like this. I think you could overly render it and then it looks too crazy. I like to get kind of like a lighter color underneath the crease of the lip. That probably comes in a little bit more here. And then we kind of just ignore this area up here, which is probably fine. It's like it does, does enough and it's not like totally bothering me. Now let me flip that back around. But I mean, this is 
Pretty cool little way to do like a little stylized self-portrait. Definitely encourage you guys to do the same. I think you know, it's always an easy to have model. Compose your face however you want, especially with having like how you have phones now, it's so easy to shoot yourself. You don't have to like deal with like sitting in front of a mirror as much anymore. I'm just gonna like paint out some shapes. It looks like I have nice and gelled smooth hair. Trying to, I think in the future I do want to start painting some of my pieces that aren't so dark. I feel like a lot of my pieces are kind of like dark and they kind of depend on the idea of that contrast that makes it pop. I don't know. I'd like to get like a little bit more variety. I'm actually going to get rid of this one I think. change a couple things because of this right here. It makes it look like my um, bone structure is probably a little different than it actually is. I'm going to add some like pinks and stuff back in into here because it looks like I have like a weird jaw thing happening. Let's see if we can fix that. Sorry, I'm kind of like analyzing some of this here. I'm trying to try to keep as much um, commentary going as I can while also painting. Get me done sometimes. I'm trying. Let's see here. Okay. Kind of scribble out some part of this. Sometimes the messiness is a nice thing. I wonder how much more we can pull out this blue. And sometimes I don't mind messing with some of these to see what we get. Maybe something that gives us something interesting. It's always worth playing with, you know, color dodge. It's just gonna make it, gonna make it too crazy. I don't know though. I wouldn't mind making it kind of pop. I don't usually use color dodge. But sometimes I just don't want it to disappear too much into the background, you know. There's something kind of weird and awesome about what's happening. <laughs> Especially with this like hard line right here. I don't know why. Who knows, it could be too much. What is that, like 36? So we have this here. Could just do like a little bit to it. I might soften that edge again though. Actually, I don't think the, this thing. So I want that to actually be a very warm color, I think. Let's try it. I'm gonna hit it hard with the overlay. 
I'll smash it pretty pretty hard on this thing. if we can get something kind of weird and cool with it. You know, sometimes you just have an idea for a bizarre little painting and you just gotta have to jam it out. But I think waiting to get to this point, so I need more form and stuff under my jaw. Now I'm looking at another monitor here. It's definitely missing a lot of that. That's something we need to definitely get back in. The lighting scenario is a little bizarre, so some of it's getting a little flat. I think the stubble stuff actually kind of confused some lighting and kind of subtle shape. Just kind of winging things now. See what kind of interesting shapes we can make, but that's also kind of forming us of some form, right? Could be kind of neat. I think it's the idea of you know I'm starting to move my brush a little faster again. Maybe we'll smooth this one down. It's hard because I'm looking at, I wonder, because you guys probably did not say, see the same colors I see, just because I think my Cintiq is overly saturated sometimes. I like how the color pops, and then I kind of look at my other preview. It's actually quite muted. I wonder if, like, to you guys, the face looks too green. And that's possible. too much air like it's, it's getting real hot right now let me just try a couple things what's weird is the space between where my jaw is and all that stuff is way too far out it's like we're gonna have to shore that up here because that is gonna bug me let me take a look here yeah I think I see some issues we are not cutting any of this. I think when I was moving around, really, this should have been coming down to here, like that. At the bottom of this ear, she came way down here.
Let's, you know, that's what's nice about this rise. Easy for you to come back and smooth it in and shore it all up and do some tweaks that you might need to. My computer is starting to hitch a little bit here. That's great. Let's kind of blend this out. And I don't want this to be too hard edged here. This part of your jog, it's like it kind of goes underneath, and then this part kind of curves over the top here. I think it's starting to feel more appropriate. I was like, there was some like jacked face stuff happening. And that was probably there for a while. Let's bring some of this blue down here. Do this like, you know, a little bit of reflected light to kind of tie into the top a little bit. Might be kind of nice. Yeah, it's always, it doesn't take long to kind of go in and tweak some of it. And, you know, maybe back here, it's a little, we'll get a little bit of warmth in here, a little, a little some subtle reds. Just so we can pull off and see the back of the hair. this kind of deep red in here. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're almost done, I think. At least done enough for the video, right? Well, I'm really glad. If you guys, you know, sat around and watched this, this whole thing, thank you so much. You know, there's some stuff in the lip I gotta fix. I gotta bring this forward more. But yeah, seriously, it really means a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Like I said, if you like, um, it's kind of just just painting and hanging out from start to finish. You know, sometimes it's hard to do a whole painting in one sitting, but these kind of simpler ones aren't too bad. But yeah, let me know. I so said it's just good to be recording and getting some content up. To, so I'll let you guys know this too. I get, it's kind of funny actually talk about this stuff on your YouTube channel. I had like a uh, nightmare the other night that um, because I hadn't gotten content out. It's been like six weeks or something. Uh, one of my longest routes on the channel. I think I had a dream that I like posted it like a movie review. Like this is a been six weeks with that video. Here's a movie review by Dave Greco. I just went and saw this. And then also in the dream, I panicked. I'm like, man, why did I upload that? I haven't put anything up in six weeks. And that's what I put. Everyone's going to freak out on me, man. <laughs> and it's like been stuck in my head. And like, all right, we gotta, we got to buckle back down here. It's like it's clearly getting in my brain. I think that jaw stuff and all that stuff we did helped a lot. I'm glad we went back in and redid it. There we go. Put some of this cool light on the ear. Even more up here. 
And I just kind of go back in and carve these little shapes in. I actually kind of want like a bright one on, uh, let's see here. It's about right here. This is what's kind of nice too. You can really spend quite a bit of time at this point just going over and pushing in like little more detailed shapes that you like to see in here. That's usually what I like to do. I like to find little cut shapes I can make that kind of make it a little more interesting, right? Maybe find some extra little shadow areas and We had some kind of where wrinkle lines would be. Not going like too crazy. All right. Well, here's something. You know, I might, this could get some small tweaks once I look at it later. Very small things, but I think this could be pretty much what the piece could look like. And, you know, we may actually change the, uh, the icon to the YouTube channel this. So, it's really cool that we got to do this whole thing. Right, you know, recorded it for everybody while we worked on it, and then maybe this is what you'll see propagated everywhere. You know, I'd always rather show the process of all the stuff I'm trying to put together. This looks like younger Dave. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, but I'm not going to fight it. This is Dave in his prime. This is Dave that lives on in my memory. He had so much sleep and energy all the time. My hair was probably a little thicker then, too. You know what? I'm sticking with it, guys. I'll, I'll paint old Dave later in life. Let's probably do it for this piece, guys. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it works for like this kind of sketch blue line cut thing I had in mind. You know, sometimes you get a vision of a piece, you get to paint it out, even if it's a simple one. All right, so um, I'll definitely have this posted. I'll probably post this on Instagram, which you can find a link to my Instagram down below if you always want to keep up to. Uh, keep up with my work there. I try to post up there as often as I can. Again, you can always catch me on Twitch as well, which is twitch.tv slash DaveGrecoArt. Um, we do paint uh, a lot of the week, and then we play games on there with a lot of our community as well. Um, guys, thank you so much, and it's great to be back. Thank you for being patient with uh, a little bit of the drought race recently. But here is the final piece. You know, maybe we'll have it face this direction. Yeah, there's some things we can tweak and we can push and figure out some shapes. I still think there's some like jaw stuff right here. You know, that could get figured out a little bit better to kind of make it look like more more like me, like proportion wise, but kind of in one sitting, not really taking breaks to kind of analyze this type of stuff. I think it worked out and I hope you guys saw even more of my process. That's exactly how I do almost all of my paintings. So guys, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. You know, definitely, if you like what you saw, I'd love if you could subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, post down below, that'd be amazing. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.